Hey everyone, Dylan here. Wanted to make a video talking about the top five things that you should know about James Allen before you buy. Now, I purchased my fiance's engagement ring from James Allen. I made some videos about it. They became quite popular. A lot of people found them very helpful. And since then, I've made a ton more videos and I've also had the chance to compare uh, my fiance's engagement ring to some other James Allen rings as well. So I have a lot of videos on my channel doing a bunch of comparisons, but I wanted to kind of consolidate some of the most popular questions that I get about James Allen and answer them in this video to give you guys sort of a quick start guide if you're planning to buy your engagement ring from James Allen. Now, the first question I get asked quite often is, is James Allen legit? And the answer to that question is 100% yes. Both your big box jewelry stores and James Allen are all getting diamonds that are graded by GIA, AGS, or IGI. Um, these are acronyms for GIA is the Gemological Institute of America. Um, AGS is the American Gem Society. And uh, IGI is the International Gemological Institute. All right, so these are professionally graded diamonds that are going to have specific grading reports for the diamond you receive and whether you go to a jewelry store or you purchase from james allen you're gonna receive those reports specific to your diamond okay so yes you're getting the same quality diamond from james allen as you are from any other jewelry store the reports don't lie okay so they're the exact same reports they're going to tell you how it is they're gonna tell you the specific characteristics of the diamond, and no matter where you get it, they're all gonna be consistent. And that's the whole point of the diamond grading system. Now, if you're shopping on James Allen and you want access to these reports when you're looking at different diamonds, all you have to do is to open the live chat and to tell the representative, hey, I'd like you to send me the report for this specific diamond that I'm looking at, and they will email you a PDF with a copy of the report so you can take a look at it ahead of time, see if there's any inclusions, where they are, look at the notes of the diamond, and this will give you a lot of information. If you're looking for help and you don't quite know how to interpret the uh, report, you can always ask the representative and they actually have a really cool way on James Allen to compare multiple diamonds to one another. Uh, it's kind of a side by side view and they will walk you through that. Also be sure to check out, you know, third party resources, go on Reddit or someplace like that, post your diamond certificate and say, Hey, what do you guys think about this diamond? And you a lot of times get some really good uh, feedback on there as well. So having access to that report is great. Uh, and it's something you can really make use of to kind of go through the different diamonds that are available. So the next thing you need to know about James Allen is if you do decide to purchase from them, how does the return process work? This is a question that I've gotten quite often as well. So the return process, you have 30 days to send back your ring for any reason uh, that you don't like it. You have to be 100% satisfied. And if you're not, you can send it back within 30 days. Now, when you order your ring, it takes typically about two, uh, they say anywhere from a week to three weeks for it to officially ship. Uh, because they have to get the diamond, make the ring, do all the quality assurance, and then ship it out. Um, in my experience, it's been about two, between two and three weeks is the average that I've seen. All right. Um, but you have 30 days from the day that it ships from them. And they do overnight shipping. So you'll receive the ring the next day, usually by like 1030 um, via FedEx. So you have 30 days from the day that it ships to you to return the ring. Now, during this 30 days, it's very important that you take a look at the ring, look at it in multiple lighting, really inspect the diamond, inspect the band, make sure you love everything about it. And if for any reason, if you're not satisfied or you wanna change something, be sure to send it back right away because that 30 days can expire really quickly. You don't wanna be in a time crunch. Make sure you give yourself the most time possible. You can send it back for a full refund or you can choose to make a change to the ring and they will do that for you and ship you the new one. Now, from what I understand and from their frequently asked questions, you can do this up to three times for free shipping of the rings until they'll start charging you shipping. Um, typically, you know, they don't want you sending it back way too many times, uh, but they'll start charging you for shipping after the fact, but you can do it up to three times, at least according to their frequently asked questions section. Now, a very important thing, if you do decide to return a ring, not a problem, you can set up the return through their site. It's very easy. All you have to do is explain why you're returning it. They'll pr provide you with a return label. All you do is stick everything that you were sent back into the shipping box. So the container that the actual ring came in, and I'll put a video here on the screen so you can see what the shipping box looks like. Um, put the ring back in the box with all the documentation, everything that you received, tape it up like crazy, put the return label on it, 
and send it back and make sure when you send it back you drop it at an official FedEx drop location okay you don't want to do a drop box or anything like that you want to make sure that you're handing it to a physical person at an official drop off location I have returned multiple rings multiple times um, for the videos that I've been doing for the comparison videos haven't had a single issue of just taking it directly to a FedEx drop location with the packing slip that they provided and it's been no problem at all Another very common question is, well, what happens if I buy a ring from James Allen, but it needs to be resized? And it can be very difficult to get the exact size ring because if you're trying to make your you know, proposal uh, a surprise and you have a hard time finding their ring size, you, know, you might have to get it resized, which is totally fine. So let's say you buy a ring, you check it out during the first 30 days, you determine that it's perfectly fine, you love the way it is, or you say you send it back and you make some changes or whatever, you get the ring back. You're totally satisfied with the ring. You do your proposal, and then you, do, you find out that the ring is too small or too big. James Allen offers a free ring resizing within the first year of purchase. So the ring resizing usually costs anywhere between 30 and 50 bucks, depending if you have a, a gold ring, it's usually 30 bucks. If you have a platinum ring, it's usually 50 bucks. And then depending on where you're at, it might they might charge uh, for you to send the ring in, which is like another 30 or 50 bucks. However, your first ring resizing is free. So depending on your location, you may still have to uh, pay shipping to get it sent there, which is like 30 to 50 bucks, but the actual ring resizing is free if it's within the first year. And they do ship the ring back to you free of charge. So it's not very expensive. It's gonna cost you less than 100 bucks. And typically, you know, you're just gonna resize it one time. Um, I recommend there are, I made a video about this on my channel, but there are ring resizer tools. So if you find that your ring is like a half size too big, uh, keep in mind, you know, your your fingers typically swell in the, the summertime and they kind of shrink in the wintertime. So, you know, being within about a half size, if you're about a half size too big, uh, you can use one of those little ring resizers. And I have a video of that on my channel that can really help make the ring comfortable. And then during those summer months when your hands are swelling up a little bit, um, it might fit actually perfect. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to make your ring too tight where it's miserable to wear during the summertime. Um, but you get that free ring resizer uh, within a year of purchase. Now, I've also received some questions about how the shipping of the ring works and what it looks like when it shows up on your doorstep. So when you order the ring, uh, when it shows up, you're going to get notification that the ring is shipped and it ships next day. So it's literally going to show up the next day by 1030 AM. And oftentimes I've had them delivered as early as like 8 AM. So you have to be ready for it to show up. And when it shows up, it's in a very incognito box. And I'll show a video clip here. You can see what the box looks like. You would never know that there's a ring in here. Then when you open the box, you'll find a protective sleeve. And then inside the protective sleeve, you'll get the nice James Allen packaging that has your actual ring inside of it when you open it up with the little magnetic door. And then it has a drawer underneath with all of your ring documentation, a little cleaning cloth, and then some extra like appraisal stuff that they add and just different uh, advertisements and documentation that they have in there. So that is what the packaging looks like. Um, and you do have to sign for the package. So they're not just gonna drop it on your doorstep and you know drive away. You have to sign for the package for it to get delivered. And as long as you're there to sign for the package, you'll get it on the date that it's supposed to show up. And because it's next day shipping, it's very fast and reliable. So that is the entire shipping process. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. Another common question that's been asked is what about custom engagement rings? Can I get engravings? Can I change some of the settings that I'm seeing on the site to fit exactly what I want? And the answer to that question is yes. And there's a couple of different approaches you can use to do that. The first approach is you can actually just work with their customer service to try to build a ring that you want. Typically, I think that's going to be a little bit more expensive, but they just released a new option called the Ring Studio. The Ring Studio allows you to build your setting basically from the head of the diamond down, and you can completely change everything that you want, and they have a ton of different presets for like French pave bands and all these really, really cool co uh, combos. You can change the colors. You can change the head design. There's a ton of really, really cool options in there and you can build a very good looking unique ring. The ring you're seeing on the screen now, this is one that was built in the ring studio with the scalloped six prong design there on the head um, on a 2.16 2 carat lab diamond with a French pave band and rose gold. And you can see very good looking ring, looks custom, looks like something someone actually built. And you can, you can dial in those specific details through the ring studio. And the advantage of this is that it's not that much more expensive. The setting price, I think the setting for this was right around $1,500 with the French Pave band, which is a pretty average price for a French Pave band, especially with 
the custom scallop six prong head. So you can get a custom ring for a you know not so custom ring price. You can get a really good price on a custom ring with the Ring Studio. So if you can find a combination within the Ring Studio that you like, I think it's a very, very good option in terms of value. But if you wanna go like truly custom, you can add some different things with them if you talk to their customer service. And every case for that's gonna be a little bit different. You can also do ring engravings as well if that's something you are interested in doing. So the last thing I get asked quite often is about James Allen's lab diamonds and if, if James Allen is a good place to buy lab diamonds. Now you've seen a lot of videos on my channel of lab diamonds. I've become pretty fascinated with them because they're so inexpensive and the aesthetic of a lab diamond is often times just as good if not better because you can get uh, a better you know graded diamond uh, versus a natural for far less it's pretty amazing and, I, and i've really taken an interest in comparing natural diamonds to lab diamonds like the diamond you're seeing here i'll put a clip on the screen of a seven thousand dollar natural diamond engagement ring that i bought from my fiance next to the seven thousand dollar lab diamond engagement ring both of them, $7,000, and you can see just how much more you're getting for your money with the lab diamond over the natural diamond. Now, whether you want to go lab or natural, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to try to convince you to go one way or the other. Typically, most people already kind of have a decision of what they want, um, but there's no denying that lab diamonds can be incredibly inexpensive and you can get a lot for your money. Now, the one advantage to buying a lab diamond from James Allen is that none of their diamonds have uh, enhancements added to them to look a certain way. So there are lab diamonds out there that don't look so good when they're first created, but then there's enhancements that people do to them to make them mimic a colorless diamond. Whereas the way that a lab diamond from James Allen is created is closest to the way a natural diamond is created. So there's no enhancements needed for it to actually uh, look exactly like a natural diamond. So keep that in mind. Um, I can't sit here and tell you that I know a ton about that process, but what I can tell you is that I've had multiple lab diamonds side by side uh, with natural diamonds from James Allen's site, and you can view all those videos on my channel, and they look absolutely fantastic. The aesthetic of a lab diamond is just as good as the aesthetic of a natural diamond, and sometimes even better because typically the lab diamonds have better grading characteristics and they just look like better diamonds overall. So it's very interesting to see them uh, side by side. So if you're looking for lab diamonds, James Allen is a good source. And like I said, I have a ton of videos on my channel if you guys wanna check those out and, and kind of dive deeper into that. So guys, that is the five things that I think you should know before buying from James Allen. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope I can kind of fast track you guys into everything that you need to know. And I will have a link to James Allen down in the video description. And then I'll also have a link to their frequently asked questions page, which answers a ton of other questions down there that you're likely to ask uh, during the buying process or looking on their site. So I'll have a link to that down in the video description below as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, be sure to leave a like down below. It really helped me out. Good luck on your ring shopping, guys. Hope you find the perfect engagement ring and we will see you in the next video. Take care.